There's just three days to go until the World's 50 Best Awards are finally announced at Guildhall in London. I'm here with Heston Blumenthal at his latest restaurant dinner at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. How are you, Heston? Yeah, good, thank you. What does the World's 50 Best Restaurants mean to you? For me, what the 50 Best has done is it's recognised that gastronomy uh, has now become truly international. Now, if you go back, I don't know, 10 years, mm -hmm. yeah, about 10 years, it really was dominated by France. Now, this is not to say that anything has happened in a negative way to French cuisine in France. It's just that the world has opened up. You know, you've now got wonderful restaurants in um, countries as diverse and far-reaching as Australia through to, 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 to Singapore, Japan, South America, obviously all the European ones and the Scandinavian countries. So it, it's, it's, really, it's really grown to recognise that this is what's happened in the, in the last five to ten years in, in, in gastronomy. What impact has the world's 50 best restaurant awards had on your business? I, I kind of had two years that changed my life in some in some sense. In that, you know, 2003, 2004, the Fat Duck had got two Michelin stars. It had um, nine out of ten in the Good Food Guide and five A rosettes and various awards, which is which is just wonderful. But the restaurant was still, you know, it was packed on weekends, maybe Thursday as well. A couple of days a week it was sort of semi busy, and two three services a week it was quiet. Um, and then we kind of had three Michelin stars and then, and then the uh, number one spot in the, on the 50 best list. And I think the combination of those two things obviously made a massive difference, so much so that I think I was pretty close to them belly up because the cash flow was so bad. The Fat Duck is a, is a technically much better restaurant now than it was when we got the number one spot in the 50 best. But at the time, it was such a kind of bolt out of the blue uh, I think we're from nowhere to number two, then to number one. And, and I think it was probably a shock to quite a few people overseas, um, maybe, maybe in France, because you know, the French previously considered us Brits as being incapable of doing anything with food. And now here's a, here's a restaurant panel um, who uh, the, the has decided that they voted for, for a British restaurant to be the number one spot. And um, I think it really it made big news because of that. So of all the countries you'd expect to, to see a restaurant occupying number one spot, even in the top five or ten or twenty or thirty, Britain surely not, you know. So so it did make it did make a massive difference. So would you say that being a part of the fifty best, along with a combination of other things, essentially saved the fat duck? It was a combination of several things because what happened first, the, the first big thing was a third Michelin star. So obviously that, that came, the, the f um, for third Michelin star in January, then I think we got the second number two in the 50 best that, that um, April, the following year number one. And through that process, you know, all the, all the sort of, that then sparks off all sorts of other sort of related interest. I also had kind of shunned television up until that point. Um, mainly because I thought that there was just much too much I still wanted to do in the restaurant. Um, so I start, but after then I started. I mean, I kept on saying no to approaches for TV, only because I didn't really, th it wasn't really that interested in me. I didn't think. I thought um, I couldn't leave the kitchen. But various things like this, and, and off the back of the third star, and then and then the number one spot, it meant that trade went up. Turnover went up. You have more cash flow to invest in in the team, bigger team, better equipment. Um, and I suppose the two years following the third star, what I did really was invest everything I could in trying to make the restaurant consistent. So, the, so you got the same product day in day out, and kind of all the things that maybe I would have either not even thought about before, but actually make a big difference to the to the diner. Thank you very much, Heston. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah, thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Big Hospitality will be reporting live from the World's 50 Best Restaurant Awards at London's Guildhall on Monday evening. If you'd like to stay abreast of all the latest photos, news, interviews, videos and so much more, then make sure you stay tuned to our Facebook page on the night.